down to uh, folks in Culpeper who saw the most flooding from last night and today's heavy rain. A playground there ended up underwater and people who were staying at a motel were forced out by the flood. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is live tonight right now uh, in Culpeper. Uh, Jeff, how do things look right now? Well, Leon, still a lot of water out here. This is Yellow Med Meadows Park, and you just see how much water there still is. And you see that this is a place that usually does get flooded when the rains really come in. But people out here say they have never seen it quite like this. Take a look at that tree out there. You see how high the water level is. It's at least several feet deep. And for those who were impacted by this flooding, they will be feeling its effects long after this water recedes. The pounding rain of Monday afternoon gives some idea of what hit the Sleepy Hollow Motel early Monday morning. Maybe a 45 minute period, the water had gone from knee level to chest level. Jason Critchfield quickly gathered his daughter, his fiance, and anything else he could before getting out of the room in a hurry. There was debris, there was propane tanks floating by. I mean, it, it was becoming a, a real serious situation. It's kind of shocking. It's, it's just kind of. Hard to take in, really. 40 to 50 people from the motel had to evacuate as the waters from nearby Mountain Run overflowed into their rooms and in the middle of the night, clothing, shoes, electronics, either soaked or ruined. I don't think anybody expected uh, six inches of rain. I'm grateful that everybody was able to get out. The rush of water led to big chunks of debris, clogging drainage systems, resulting in flooding in a parking lot near a tractor supply company, a 7-Eleven that had to close for hours, Wine Street Memorial Park and Yowell Meadow Park. I'm just a little shocked. John Weaver drove by the park with his son Nate, but had to stop and take a look for himself. Never seen nothing quite like it. Jason Critchfield feels the same way. Uh, to be very honest, I'm terrified. I and when asked what happens now, he and his family don't have answers, but they have each other. We're just trying to stick together and figure out what to do. And you see those park benches, just basically water very, very high. Still a lot of people have been coming by all day today. Just they can't believe what they're seeing. The Red Cross has set up accommodations and food for people evacuated from the Sleepy Hollow Motel. It is a place where people do stay for several weeks at a time. As for this water, emergency management officials here in the town of Culpeper say it's going to be at least a few days before it's all gone. Live in Culpeper, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. All right, good deal, Jeff. We'll hope for the best there. Uh, to check the radar, folks, anytime tonight. Just download the ABC7 weather app onto your smartphone. You can check it out anytime you need to.